Hi my little sapphires and welcome to another Sapphire Sunday video. I think a Sunday just feels like the best day to film because it's literally like I've wrapped up the whole week telling you what I'm going to do next week and telling you what I've done this week. Nala, you're not in the video today. I don't know if you've seen my video about Nala. If you haven't, I'll link it below. Nala is intersex. So uh, yeah, I was just telling you all about that. Let me let her get up. She's up now, she's sorted. You can't see her because the chair is quite low down. I don't want to move the camera again. So yeah, all sorted. So my week, what have I done? I've had four personal training sessions this week um what else have i done i can't even think i filmed halloween content i filmed some halloween content with cat actually on thursday um she wore like a witch's hat and sort of like dressed up as a witch i um dressed up as like well i don't even know what i was i was trying to be a cat but i think i look more like batwoman what do you think i look like i don't even know what i'm dressed up as honestly i'm awful when it comes to halloween i've never been one of them people that goes out every weekend and dresses up. I'm not really like a cosplay type of person. I just sort of like being in my own clothes and feeling comfortable. So I'm not the best with Halloween. And I feel like so many um, wrestlers have gone so creative over this weekend and this week with their outfits. Like they literally look fantastic. They've got the face paint out, but I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I literally just, yeah, and I forgot it was Halloween today. I went for a roast with my friend, um, Katie. She used to wrestle as Chardonnay. Uh, she retired like a few years back, but we meet halfway because she lives like an hour and a half from me. So we meet halfway type of thing. And we had a roast and I was driving back and I totally forgot that it was Halloween. So there's me taking my dogs out and everything just tonight, just, yeah, not even knowing that it's Halloween and that people are going to be trick or treating and, yeah, I've got the worst memory ever. I even had a podcast um, booked in this week. I'll link that down below too. And honestly, I only remembered that I had the podcast when they tweeted me say when they tweeted a tweet saying, "Oh yeah, we've got Nadja on tomorrow." And I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I've got the worst memory ever. Um, honestly, all right, my mental health is way better than what it was a few weeks back. I feel like I've seen like a massive shift. Um. I don't know about you guys, but I've been into the law of attraction for the last year and it honestly does help me when I'm feeling low and when my vibe is um, low, it helps to lift me back up. Obviously, like, you know, it's a lot of work and it's hard mm. to get into it when you are really low, but I've managed to do a few things. I've actually managed to manifest my Instagram back. Now people are going to think I'm absolutely nuts. Instagram has disabled my Instagram account seven times now and I'd say about five out of them seven times I've manifested it back. Now what I mean by that is whenever they disable my account as soon as I just go to get it back and I ask them for it back they literally ignore me. They don't even bother if that makes sense like they just ignore me or they're like your account has been disabled for violating terms and conditions or community guidelines which is a lie because my account's pg someone probably just keeps reporting me and then it probably just gets taken down so i get the automated message and yeah it's like that but anyway when i actually manifest it it always comes back so for example the other night um the last time i lost my instagram I scripted it and I scripted um, like, you know, how it felt to have my Instagram, uh, what I liked about my Instagram, what I liked about my content and imagined that I already had it. But when you imagine that you already have it, you have to actually really feel it, like feel the emotional connection with it. Anyway, I found the script the other day, the other night. So I thought, right, I'm going to read over this old script I done and I'm just going to, you know, really try and imagine it and envision it for a while. And in my head, I genuinely felt like I had my Instagram back. And the next morning I woke up and I was like, my Instagram's coming back today. It's coming back. And I just told myself that. I didn't know whether it would, like, I'm gonna say I didn't know. Like my subconscious mind would maybe have a doubt, but my present mind was like, no, it's gonna come back. Cause you have to be positive. 
and you have to be like you know no i'm getting it back anyway so i went on to my emails i had five emails off instagram one saying oh we deleted it by mistake four more saying that we reactivated it and like the first few emails i didn't even see and then the last two emails were the ones which i seen and i was like oh my god i got it back so i got it back i've logged on but i've not even posted on it i feel like i'm actually enjoying having time away from instagram at the moment and not being on there so i will obviously post on there in in a few weeks because i've got like i'll have to put like photo shoots and stuff up like i've got like a few stuff from when i did uh, collaborations with new look um but i just feel like i'm enjoying the break and i'm so thankful that it's back and um i've been listening to an audible book because i'm dyslexic i find it really hard to like i can read but when i read things don't sink into my brain if that makes sense so i listen to a lot of audible books like i'm great at writing things down but reading's just another yeah it just doesn't sink in unless i'm doing manifesting where i'm like literally like reading a word and literally thinking of it and taking it in and then reading the next word but if i literally just read paragraphs and paragraphs it just doesn't yeah it just doesn't sink in so uh yeah i've seen a few financial shifts this week as well with this book it's called get rich lucky <laughs> so this is a book cover um it's by a woman called denise it's actually really good um and i have actually seen a financial increase this week um i love the law of attraction i listen to podcasts i listen to books um it really comforts me and um yeah it really helps my mindset the only thing which i am really awful at attracting and manifesting is a boyfriend i feel like i can do it with instagram and i can do it with money like i feel like i'm great at manifesting money but when it comes to manifesting a partner i'm awful at that i feel like maybe i've got lots of love blockages and stuff like that to stop me and i do know that i'm a massive sabotager in relationships when well, i like someone i do sabotage it so um i know that's just stuff which i got work on myself so plans for next week um i'm gonna obviously uh go to the gym i got the gym i need to get my thyroid checked honestly like i've had like a few naughty days this week but usually i eat so good i train well throughout the week i'm honestly like i'm still just not losing nothing um even like on my trackers like when i can track my calories like i'm in a calorie deficit and it's not happening um and i'm even checking things like my drinks and stuff like that um i don't know i need to get my thyroid checked but they can't do that till december time so i'm gonna have to wait um yeah I oh i've got a spa day actually on tuesday um my auntie for my birthday in 2019 uh was meant to be taking me on a spa day and obviously with everything that happened that didn't happen so yeah we're finally going so that's going to be really exciting um this week as well i'm gonna work um a lot behind the scenes on my only fans i've got like two years of content which a lot of it has even been put onto OnlyFans and I just want to edit it down and put it all on there and get it all on there and give my fans a few bonuses and a lot more value for money. So um, yeah, I'm going to focus on that this week. Um, I'm also going to do tonight now because it's Halloween weekend and I'm a bit late, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do 10% off my merchandise store so like i said before they are to pre-order um i'm hoping to get the um products like the merchandise sent out to people uh between mid to late november um so the next 20 people to order from my merchandise store will get 10 percent off i will link that down below um and i'm gonna also do that with my custom wrestling video store we do actually have a halloween match which me and kat filmed which you can purchase. I do KO stink face here at the end. I also done some extra stink face content uh, with Kat, which you can purchase only on my OnlyFans. So it's exclusive to my OnlyFans. So message me there to find out how to purchase it. I actually think um, when you're on my OnlyFans, it shows you a preview anyway. And then it says tip to 
to have it the video sent to you so yeah you can do that as well because um yeah i've done lots of content but yeah tonight and over this week now i'm just gonna be getting out a lot of my older content i've got a lot more risky content and just getting it all out there and giving my fans value for money and just engaging with them this week so i'm gonna be on my laptop engaging a lot so if you are obviously subscribed and you're on there please reach out to me obviously i'll reply and we can just keep engaging back and forth um it's no extra charge as long as you're subscribed so yeah we can just engage we can just chat we can chat about anything you like um tell me what you're gonna be up to for christmas so yeah so um it's just my little check-in video with you guys letting you know what i've been up to let me know in the comments below what you've been up to and also let me know um what you're gonna be doing for this week Anyway, take care, my little sapphires.